movie has this really unique opportunity with the Hide and Now show and really making meaningful engagements. Vancouver is home to a huge number of Haida people. Even though it's 2017, we don't always have these opportunities and with truth and reconciliation and with, you know, trying to build a better future, it's going to be doing projects like this and making change for the future so that, you know, we don't have to suffer these cultural differences as much. My name is Paola Merkins and I am the curatorial associate at the Museum of Vancouver. I help with the curatorial department and with the collections department. One of my first tasks for this project was to look into our database and to find all the objects that we have identified as Haida and to start flagging them for the Haida curators to come in and have a look at them. From there, we started having the visits. I think a lot of it is old, has never been seen. Um, the collection has not been highly documented either, so many of these pieces, a lot of people don't know we have. So when they come in and they start walking, the, the range of emotion is quite, quite impressive. And that connection that immediately happens is something really, to me, has been an eye-opener. My name is Fiona Hernandez. I'm the conservator at the Museum of Vancouver. That whole thing was a highlight. I mean, everybody who has come has really brought the pieces alive. I think it's, it's been fantastic to see this reunion, I'd call it. I don't know, to me, that's what it's felt like. You know, when, when you walk by and, and it, they identify something that they've seen in pictures or that, that they know the style and they can say, oh, my grandma did this, my, my nanny did this, you know? It's fantastic. It's, it's a different way of looking at our collection. It gives it a new dimension. It gives it life. We need to change a little bit the way we look at that. I think we need to be welcoming because we learn a lot about the objects that we care for. We learn about their significance to the culture that creating them. We learn about their importance to people, you know, descendants in many cases, or to young persons who are trying to learn about the past, not only cultural, but the past in general. The reason why I chose this piece for, for this particular uh, exhibit, and, and I think the rattle represents the exhibit. It represents what we're doing, and it probably represents what we should continue to do. For me, this whole exhibit is about the transfer of knowledge, and it's not the transfer of knowledge in the mythical way, like it is in here. It's a transfer of knowledge in a very palpable way. Um, we're transferring knowledge from the Haida Nation to us as museum people, and we're gonna transfer it to the general public through our exhibition and to the future when we have the new and younger artists and, and younger Haida people who are coming to learn about their culture, they might never become artists because it's not for everyone. But at the end of the day, they'll appreciate their culture. They would have learned from their ancestors. So I hope that our visitors through the exhibit learn to see that there's a lot more to these objects than just the final so beautiful result, that, that there's a lot of work, that there's a lot of respect for what is done, and that today with the younger artists that a few of them will be represented that there's also this thirst to know what the ancestors did and what their elders did before them so they can continue the tradition i hope that this is just the beginning like that we have started a conversation and to get people in to, to talk about things more often <laughs>